We're going to be going over the numbers on a duplex that I think is incredibly undervalued. Bob and Erica, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. Actually, episode 173. So we're pumping these out, uh, you know, at a pretty frequent basis for you guys. You guys are uh, gobbling these up. We got a lot of uh, sales going on right now. Most recently, we've been running a three pack. You can get three properties for six ninety nine. So go to holtonwise.com, click the property search for sale tab, and go to the MLS Search and Analysis Show. If you'd like to work with us one on one, like I'm doing with Bob and Erica today. And now, Bob and Erica, you guys, we've done a bunch of deals together going back and forth on a lot of properties. Some, you know, a couple worked out, some didn't, but, you know, that's the name of the game, right? We're trying to get properties for incredibly low prices. And the first property that we're going to do in today's show, we're going to do two for you. Uh, the first one is one that you sent me, okay? This property, 121 Homer Court, Elyria, 44035 has been on the market for 25 days, listed at $72,000. And I think there's some negatives to this particular property that we're going to be able to exploit when we're negotiating with the sellers and the listing agent. And we're going to try to get this thing for you guys for a really low price, perhaps rather undervalued if everything plays out how I want it to. Let's uh, read what the listing agent, who, by the way, this is listed by an uh, agent out of Coldwell, Banker Schmidt Realty. This is what they had to say. Uh, fully occupied lease units, separate utility meters with updated electric panels, vinyl windows, newer insulation, and completely turnkey. Downstairs unit one enjoys large master bedroom, driveway, basement with washer and dryer hookup, and has glass block windows, two-car garage with large additional storage area. Wired for electric, they're talking about the garage, and completely fenced in yard. Upstairs, unit two, bedroom, kitchen, and a very large living room. Walk-up attic for additional storage or could be converted to second bedroom. Close to Cleveland Street with public transportation available and within walking distance of downtown Elyria. This home has always, this home has always been maintained by current owner. Now, there's some negatives, okay? There are some negatives to this property, which is why I want to get it for the price that I want to get it. But before I even get into those, let's just go through the photos, okay? This is what we got here. All right. Now, just so you know, if we were in Cuyahoga County, this gravel driveway would probably be an issue. But out in Elyria, that's fairly common. They're in Lorain County, so nothing really to worry about there. The units, they look pretty decent. Okay. All right. All the tenant stuff in here. Bada bing. Bada boom. Okay. Now. Let's talk about some of these negatives, though, because I don't want you guys to pay 72, and I don't think you need to pay 72 because there's a couple negatives, all right? The first negative is going to be the low rents, okay? 400 550 The reason uh, one of these is much lower is also a negative, right? It's not a true 2-1 where both units are, you know, 2-1. One. one unit's 2-1, which is that downstairs unit, but the upstairs is a 1-1, one, one, Okay. So they're renting that for only 400. The other one they're renting at 550. The good news is there's a lot of meat on the bone here because even though those rents are so low, 400, 550, it's bringing in 950 right now. That's what we got to look at. That's the numbers we're going to analyze. But we could get this rent up to 1350 because we can rent that 21 for 750 and the 11 we can get that up to about 6. So we we have a lot of meat on the bone. That's why I think this is still a pretty solid deal, but I want to beat that price down, right? So currently what we're dealing with is these rents are way, 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 way low, way below market, okay? So we have that going against us. We have the fact that the upstairs unit is not a 2-1, it's just a 1-1. One, one. That's kind of a negative, something I don't like. But here is the big thing, okay? And when I was reading this uh, with the way they talked about it, I don't know if you guys caught it, but essentially what they're saying is only 
the downstairs unit has access to that basement. What that means, because this is pretty clearly, to me, it looks like a house that was at one point a single family and they converted it. Uh, and when things like that happen sometimes, the way that uh, the layout of the house works, the upstairs doesn't have a common entry point into that basement. It's only accessible through the downstairs unit. So that's going to be a negative, right? Your upstairs tenants are never going to be able to uh, do laundry in that basement. That's number one negative. Number two negative, if they uh, trip a breaker, okay, <laughs> there's only two options, right? If they trip a breaker, they can't just go into the basement and uh, re-trip it. You either have to have Holton Wise go out there and perform a service call uh, to, to put that back on, or they need to contact the other tenant. So those are two negatives. So because of both of those negatives, I don't want you to pay 72. And, you know, when you're working with a duplex where the, the market rent, you know, it's going to be like thirteen fifty. You know, we we normally would need to pay anywhere between like eighty and a hundred, depending on the condition. So, with all those negatives, what I'd like to see you guys do is pick this up for sixty five. I don't want you to pay what you would normally pay because of those negatives. So, I say sixty five is the price. And with the current rents at nine fifty, remember we can get that up to thirteen fifty, but right now it's only nine fifty. So, with the current rents at nine fifty, I anticipate after factoring in all the estimated expenses. Is you guys bringing home three twenty six a month on average? Now I know you guys have a ton of cash, but this isn't anything where you necessarily need to do a burr uh, or you know any major renovations up front. So if you wanted, you could just simply finance the thing. You don't need to put down sixteen thousand two hundred fifty. It would still kick off an eight point nine percent cash on cash return after the mortgage is paid off, and that's with the current low rents of nine fifty. Which again, we got about four hundred bucks on the table, but. To get them from right here where we are today to that 1350, who's to say we're able to do that without spending any money? You two have been in the game for quite a while, so you you know more than likely before we get to that market rent, we're going to have to do at least one turnover, if not both of them. So we're looking at you know some turnover renovations there because you know those are units were a little dated, so you got to factor that in. But I do like this property. I like Elyria quite a bit. Uh, I think this will work for you guys. I think you guys made a good choice. I just want to make sure that you're aware of the downfalls of this particular property. Just to recap again quickly. One of the units is only a one bedroom. That's issue number one. Issue number two, it's a converted property. It was at one point a single. Now it is a duplex. And the way they did it, that upstairs unit does not have access to the basement, which means that upstairs tenant's never going to be able to do laundry on site, number one. Number two, when they trip a breaker, that's going to be a big pain in the ass because we got to rely on either the other tenant to trip that for them or, you know, Holton Wise would have to come out and do a service call. So with that stuff in mind, I'd say 65 is the most I'd want to see you guys spend on this particular property. Now, next, uh, you guys had also, Bob, you had asked me to, to shoot you something that uh, was in the Clark Fulton neighborhood, uh, you know, somewhere near Metro Health, right? Because all the revitalization that's going to be happening over there uh, is what I'm banking on because they're putting a billion dollars into Metro Health and the, the surrounding community. So I've got that for you. But first, we got to go to a word from the sponsors of today's show. Good day, everyone. It's Angela Ramora here your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. RentTech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With RentTech Direct, you'll also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. 
Just enter the details of your property and RedTech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. All right, Bob and Erica, welcome back. Now the next one. 2005 Kenneth Avenue, Cleveland, 44109, right fairly close to that Metro Health campus. And uh, this one listed at 499 on the market for three days. But you see, that's not exactly accurate, okay? The thing with this particular property is, yes, this current 49.9 listing was put on the MLS three days ago, but this particular property was actually on the market for a very long time. It did not sell, okay? So this thing has actually been for sale for close to a year right now, which is why I think we're going to stand a very good chance at getting it for a very low price. I think these sellers are probably starting to get a little desperate. And in addition to that, I actually looked at this uh, a while back for another client. We ended up not doing anything with this particular property. He went with another property that I was analyzing for him in that video. Uh, but what I want to do now is I'm going to have you guys take a look at the footage uh, that I analyzed for him. 2005 Kenneth, Cleveland, Ohio, 44109. Same neighborhood, my man. These properties are very close to each other. This property listed, $45,000. Been on the market over 200 days, 201 days. That is key, man. That is great. That is awesome for us. Reason being, there is a tenant in there. You know, these, these realtors, right? Most realtors, they just handle <clears throat> traditional real estate, traditional homes. They anticipate their clients wanting to go view the home and then move their family into the home. Totally different ball game when you handle rentals, man. Uh, especially D-class rentals, dude. The tenants, they're not easy to deal with, right? That's just part of the game. So because of that, I think we're going to be able to squeeze out an even better deal. I'd like to see us pick this one up for $35,000. $5,000 cheaper than the previous property because, number one, the house is very, very hard to show, right? Number two, owner-occupied buyers, even though there's not a lot of them uh, in a D-class neighborhood, they're still totally eliminated from this property where the other property was empty, easy to show. You know, it's a lot easier to get other buyers in there. This one, it's tough. We got a tenant in there. And then the third reason I think we're going to get the price even cheaper is because this particular tenant is not necessarily a positive to real estate investors. The reason being, this tenant is only paying six seventy five dollars a month. Now, I am all about picking up properties where the tenant's paying a little bit less than they should be and slowly increasing their rents, right? I, I don't think people should just immediately rush to take over a property and kick the tenant out so they can get a new tenant uh, paying market. You know, you don't want to immediately try to give yourself a five dollars or $10,000 renovation um, in exchange for a hundred bucks a month, right? But when a tenant is living in a single family home like this one, <clears throat> big old single family home, then we're gonna have that capital expenditures we gotta account for. We're gonna have the repairs and maintenance we gotta account for. We got taxes, insurance, all that jazz, right? When a tenant is paying this little, it's actually impossible to cash flow, right? You're not gonna cash flow when the tenant is paying this small amount of money. I mean, like the cash flow is like minuscule, dude. Like you have a couple bad years, a couple rough years, man, your cash flow is wiped out. This tenant is paying so little money. It's ridiculous. It's, it's, it's just too low, right? It's, it's just, it's not like we're doing 50 or hundred bucks here. Like they're way too low. It's almost, it's close to half basically. Right. So we cannot, you know, our property is not set up to be easily sold to people looking to live in it not set up very well for investors because the tenant is a negative here. So because of that, I think we're going to pick it up for 35,000. Now looking at the photos, you know, I'm anticipating at least another $15,000. I want to get this section eight ready again, <clears throat> could be a little higher than $15,000 to get it totally section eight ready, but you know, similar, similar type deal with the other property. We go agreeable gray walls, get the kitchen looking good here. We actually got a little bit nicer countertop, uh, and uh, kitchen cabinet set up. And we do have like a pretty modern looking floor. You know, we got the wood paneling walls in the living room, but all told, you know, basically similar condition to the other house. So approximately $15,000, get this thing looking spiff and span. We're going to be all into it for $50,000. If we could pick it up for you at 35 K do the same thing, same plan, get us a section eight tenant and they're paying a thousand dollars a month. 
you know, the costs on this one, it's a very similar property to the other property. The rent's going to be practically the same. So <clears throat> minus a few minor uh, details, like a little bit of differences in the, the tax rate, things of that nature, we're going to be bringing home a similar amount of money. So I anticipate 536 a month coming in from this property. So you're all into this for 50000 This makes the cap a little bit higher, a 12.8 cap. But <clears throat> because we were able to pick it up $5,000 cheaper because of all the things I just mentioned, if we get it to appraise for 60K, just like the last property, which I think we will, and the bank loans us 45, that means you're only into this one for $5,000. You cut the amount of money you're actually into the property in half. You're getting a similar return. You're going to be bringing home on average. Now, some years are going to be better. Some are going to be worse. Don't anticipate you're going to make this every single year. It does not work like that in the real estate business, man. Bad things can happen. Perhaps we do an eviction. Uh, and then you got another big renovation, things like that will kill your return. But on average, over the long haul, you're trying to build a portfolio of 50 units, okay? If you had 50 of these properties for 10 years, let's say, I would anticipate these would be the average returns you would see. Some of them, you know, might have negative returns and some of them are going to have huge, beautiful returns with no issues. But you average out your whole portfolio. These are the numbers I'd anticipate. 4,164 bucks a year coming in after you pay off that mortgage. You're only into this sucker for $5,000. That TJ would be an 80. 3% cash on cash return. All right, Bob and Erica, welcome back. So let me know what you want to do. Do you want to try to pull off a bird deal on this particular property? I think it would be a solid investment if we can get it for that price. Do you guys want to move forward on the Illyria duplex? Remember, I like the Illyria duplex. I, I know I was, you know, I probably sounded like I was a little rough on it. Uh, I'm not saying it's a bad investment. I just, I wouldn't want you guys to buy that property without understanding those specific negatives that that property has. Because, you know, the, the access point, uh, from upstairs to that basement. That's going to be something that you guys are going to be dealing with, you know, for the entire time you own that property. So in order for that to make sense, in my opinion, we need to get a nice little discount, which is why 65 k is the most I want to see you pay. I don't want to see you pay what you'd normally pay for a true duplex out here in Cleveland. So let me know uh, what you guys want to do. This is property 8 and nine of your 10 property package. So after this, guys, just so you know, on your account, you still have one property banked. And everybody else, I told you at the beginning of the show, I'm going to tell you one more time, if you want to work with me and my team one-on-one -on -one like Bob and Erica are doing, just go to HoltonWeiss.com. Click the property search for sale tab. Click on the MLS search and nail the show. And you can get various packages, right? We got the three pack on sale right now. Bob and Erica originally, uh, you know, came to us and they bought a 10 pack. These packages do not expire, guys. So you could pick up a 10 pack if you're not ready to buy 10 properties today. Don't worry, man. That's cool. It takes time. I've been working with Bob and Erica for quite a while because it takes time. We got to do a lot of videos together. We put in offers. Okay. Okay, not all the offers are going to get accepted. Remember, the name of the game, what we're trying to do, we're trying to extract value out of the marketplace, right? We're not trying to just pay list price, right? We don't want to pay $49,900 for this. We don't want to pay $72,000 for the other property. So because of that, you know, we're going to have, it's a numbers game, right? We're going to have to shoot a bunch of shots and see what sticks, right? And, you know, the other thing is, too, a lot of times we might send out offers, sellers will deny them, but then they're on the market for a few months longer, and then they come back to us. We get that quite a bit because, you know, we're making some low ball offers out here, guys, but it's a number game. We got to do a lot of properties, so that's why I advocate the bigger packages like people like Bob and Erica did. So you guys might want to think about that if you, uh, you like this level of service. That's all I've got for today's show. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world.
Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Field, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact combined with the high price to rent ratio is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.